beneficial. When you guys are looking at this problem, we need to use a conversion, a conversion ratio, right? And you guys agree with me that this ratio is exactly the same. So I mean, it's just in different units. But then the measures of an angle in, in pi radians, as well as 180 degrees, is equivalent. There's no difference. They're just in different units. So if I multiply a fraction by something that's in different units but the same measure, I'm not actually going to change. I'm just going to convert it to the other units. So when you want to convert from radians to degrees, what you're going to want to do is eliminate. You're going to want to eliminate your pi and, and include a degree measure. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by 180 degrees over pi. By multiplying up 180 degrees over pi, what's nice about this is my division property, or by using division property, my pi's divide to 1. Then I have 12 times 180 divided by 5. So you could easily just do multiply straight across and do that. Or you could say 5 goes into 80, which should be, yes? I'm just showing you what to do for on this problem. But yes, I mean, you're multiplying by 180 over pi. OK? Um, so 5 goes into 180. Well, it goes into 80 16 times. It goes into 20, so it'd be 36. 36 times. So therefore, 180 divided by 5 is 36. And then I got to do 12 times 36, which is? 432 degrees? Yeah. Everybody, anybody else agree? 432. So 432 degrees is the equivalent. So 12 pi over 5 is equivalent to 432 degrees. Huh? There's 360. Right? You can go over. You can go around and around. OK? We'll go over more of that later. We'll, we haven't learned that yet. You're just learning how to convert. That's all you guys need to know.